Hello, so I'm going to tell you a bit more about this project I've been working on, Kisses on a Postcard, uh, today. I'm going to tell you one story from the show, and I'm actually going to play you a video as well. So Kisses on a Postcard is a musical about my father Terence Frisbee's experiences as a seven-year-old boy when he was evacuated from his family in South East London uh, in World War II down to the country. And I'm going to tell you why it's called Kisses on a Postcard. So it's 1940. My father was seven, as I keep saying, and his brother, uh, my Uncle Jack, was 11. Two boys. And they were evacuated from their family in South East London to escape the Blitz, the German bombing. And the same fate fell to millions of children across the country and cities across the country. Neither they, nor their parents, nor anyone it seemed to. They didn't know where they were going, who they would be staying with, or for how long. They just knew that they would be leaving their mum and dad. And so my grandmother, dad's mum, she said, whatever happens, you stay together. You got that? You stay together. And then to turn it into an adventure for the two boys, she invented um, a secret code for them. When you get there, she said, and they're going, where, where? She gave them a stamped address postcard. She said, you find out your new address and you write it on this card and you post it to me. Okay? Now here's the code. You know how to write a kiss with a cross? Well, you put one kiss if it's horrible and I'll come straight there and bring you back. You put two kisses if it's okay and you put three kisses if it's nice. Then she would know. And the two boys were then put on a train, said goodbye to their pet mum and dad at the station. They were put on a train with the rest of their school, each with a gas mask, some sandwiches, and a label round their neck with their name on it. They went on this incredibly long train journey and they ended up in a village in Cornwall where they were herded into the school hall and picked at random by whichever local would take them, like a cattle market. And Jack and Terry were chosen by an ex Welsh coal miner and his wife. Uh, Auntie Rose and Uncle Jack were their names and they lived in a tiny cottage by the railway with their soldier son, Gwyn. Jack and Terry got to this house and inside they found this a room packed with things. There was a cat curled behind the stove, a canary in a cage, oil lamps, there was no electricity. And there were two First World War shells in their case, six inches long, standing on either side of the clock on the mantelpiece. Outside in the yard there was a pig, chickens, and beyond that a valley with endless woods, a rushing river, fish to catch, streams to dam, paths, tracks, a quarry to climb. And best of all, right at the bottom of their yard lay the main line from London to Benzance. Trains. Dad and his brother loved trains. And this extract that I'm going to play you now, it's an audio project, but we've filmed this one scene. Um, it takes place on that first night when they've just arrived at this cottage and they're staring at their postcard, considering their code. How many kisses? I vote three. What would mum and dad think of it here? Don't know. No electricity. They wouldn't like that. I don't care. There's no bathroom. I don't care. Outside love, all they have. I can't go in an outside love. I don't mind. I don't care. What if it's freezing cold out there? That's what the bot's for, don't you see? I vote one. I vote three. Squashed up in it, I don't care. This is on a postcard. We must write something we've got to do tonight. This is on a postcard. What will they show? Only mum is going to know. What about Gwyn? Gwyn's not bad, even though you can see he's mad. Auntie Rose, what are you saying? She says weird things, but she's okay. Not Uncle Jack, though, he plays rough. Pulled my hair, called me scruff Kisses on a postcard, what do we do? I still say three Well, I say two Kisses on a postcard, three, two, one Better be quick or it won't get done If we put less in 
and three, Mum and Dad will think it's rotten here. They'll be worried. Yeah, well... There's the trains, they're good. And the station, right next to us. That's terrific. Hey, wait! I've just remembered! Hens! What about hens? Eggs, stupid! Real eggs! Not that horrible powdery stuff. Eggs for you, eggs for me, eggs for breakfast, supper and tea. Poached or baked, scrambled or fried. On board with soldiers on the side. What do you say now? What's your score? All right, three. I say four. You can't. Why not? Mum only said up to three. But don't you see? The more kisses we put, the more happy they're going to be. Yeah, it's terrific here, really, isn't it? Like being on holiday, only there's no seat. We don't have to stop at four. Let's do hundreds. Yeah. Kisses on a postcard one by one. All round the edges, this is fun. Kisses on a postcard squashed up tight. Telling mum that we're all right. Good night, children, everywhere. Your mummy thinks of you. Night's Harry. Look at them, fast asleep. And they've covered the card in kisses. Night, night, boys. And so the two boys covered their card with kisses, posted it back home the very next morning. And my father would spend the next four years in that Cornish village. He called it his second childhood. And I'm asking you to please listen to the rest of the show. That's the only scene in the video. The rest of the show is audio. Um, it's available at kissesonapostcard.com. You can either order a CD or you can listen to it as a podcast. It's also available at Bandcamp and I'll put all the links in the comments. And if you know anyone who was evacuated in the war, there aren't many of them left, please play it to them. There's a four hour version, a bit like an audio book, listen to it in half hour interviews or something. And there's a shorter two hour version. I think it's worth taking the trouble to listen to the full four hour version, which as I say, you can get at kissesonapostcard.com or at kissesonapostcard.bandcamp.com. Um, or just type it into your podcast at Kisses on a Postcard and you'll find it. Um, thank you very much for listening and it's a very moving story, it's a very funny story and um, this whole project means a great deal to me. Thank you.